He is known for being one of the modern pioneers of social, organizational, and applied psychology in the United States. He is recognized for his contribution to the fields of applied research, action research, and group communication. His name is Kurt Lewin. In the world of psychology, one name stands out as a true pioneer, Kurt Lewin. Born in Germany, Lewin later became a prominent figure in the field of social, organizational, and applied psychology in the United States. From his early days, Lewin was driven by a deep curiosity about human behavior and a passion to understand the complexities of group dynamics and organizational development. As a young psychologist, Lewin dedicated himself to three main areas of study, applied research, action research, and group communication. His groundbreaking work in these domains would go on to shape the entire field of psychology. He was a firm believer in the idea that social psychology could provide valuable insights into how individuals behave within groups and organizations. Lewin's contributions were so significant that he earned the title of the founder of social psychology. His studies on group dynamics and organizational development were groundbreaking and highly influential. He recognized the importance of studying and understanding how individuals interact within groups, and how these interactions impact decision-making processes, conflict resolution, and overall productivity. Lewin's work was not only influential during his time but continues to resonate even today. In fact, a review of General Psychology Survey in 2002 ranked Lewin as the 18th most cited psychologist of the 20th century, a true testament to the lasting impact of his contributions. Kurt Lewin's legacy as a pioneer and visionary in the field of social psychology lives on. His work has paved the way for generations of psychologists to study and understand the intricacies of human behavior within a social context, leaving an indelible mark on the field that will be celebrated for years to come. Kurt Lewin, a renowned philosopher and psychologist, was born in 1890 into a middle-class Jewish family in the small village of Mogilno, Prussia. His early life was shaped by his Orthodox Jewish education and the limitations placed upon Jews during that time. Despite these challenges, Lewin's thirst for knowledge led his family to move to Berlin in 1905, where he could receive a better education. At the Kaiserin Augusta Gymnasium, Lewin immersed himself in classical humanistic studies, laying the foundation for his future intellectual pursuits. However, it was at the University of Munich that his interests expanded beyond medicine to include biology and involvement in the socialist movement and women's rights. Lewin's journey took another turn when he transferred to the Royal Friedrich Wilhelms University of Berlin, where his fascination with psychology truly took hold. Under the guidance of esteemed psychologist Karl Stumpf, Lewin delved into the realms of associations, will, and intention for his dissertation. Although their relationship lacked regular communication, Stumpf agreed to supervise Lewin's work. It was during this time that Lewin experienced a profound realization about the interconnectedness of life. In his own words, he reflected, my life will recur in exactly identical fashion. However, with the outbreak of World War I, Lewin's path took an unexpected detour. He dutifully served in the German army but was wounded, prompting him to return to the University of Berlin to complete his PhD. It was here that he finally discussed his dissertation with Stumpf, who guided him through his final doctoral examination. Kurt Lewin's early life and education laid the groundwork for his groundbreaking contributions to philosophy and psychology. His experiences with different fields of study and his deep understanding of human nature allowed him to develop theories and insights that continue to shape our understanding of the human mind. From his humble beginnings in Mogilno to his transformative studies at renowned institutions, Lewin's journey serves as a reminder that personal experiences and a thirst for knowledge can propel us to new intellectual heights. Kurt Lewin, a renowned psychologist, made significant contributions to the fields of psychology and philosophy. Initially involved with behavioral psychology, Lewin changed directions and began working with psychologists from the Gestalt School of Psychology, including Max Wertheimer and Wolfgang Kohler. His intellectual pursuits led him to become a professor at the University of Berlin, where he lectured on both philosophy and psychology. In 1933, the rise of Hitler forced Lewin to leave Germany and immigrate to the United States. There, he became a naturalized citizen and continued his research and teaching career. He spent time as a visiting professor at Stanford University and worked at Cornell University and the University of Iowa. Eventually, he became the director of the Center for Group Dynamics at MIT. During World War II, Lewin's theories caught the attention of Eric Trist from the London Tavistock Clinic. Impressed by Lewin's work, Trist used his concepts in studies on soldiers during the war. Lewin's insights into tension states, needs, motivation, and learning proved invaluable in understanding human behavior in challenging circumstances. Lewin's personal life also reflects his dedication to his work. He was married twice, first to Maria Landsberg and later to Gertrude Weiss. 
He had children from both marriages and experienced the challenges of divorce and immigration. Despite these personal struggles, Lewin remained focused on his research and teaching, seeking to make a lasting impact on the field of psychology. Sadly, Lewin's life was cut short when he passed away in 1947 due to heart failure. His contributions, however, continue to resonate in the field of psychology and beyond. His theories on group dynamics and human behavior have provided valuable insights into understanding and navigating interpersonal relationships. The legacy of Kurt Lewin serves as a reminder of the importance of exploring new ideas and embracing change in order to better understand ourselves and the world around us. Kurt Lewin, a renowned philosopher and psychologist, was a pioneer in the field of applied research and practical theory. Unlike many of his contemporaries, Lewin believed that applied research could be conducted rigorously and that theoretical propositions could be tested in practical settings. He argued against the binary between basic and applied research, asserting that theories could be used to address important social problems. Lewin's dedication to applied research is exemplified by his ability to turn everyday problems into psychological experiments. He observed a simple interaction with a waiter and recognized the psychological tension that arises from the intention to carry out a specific task. Building on Sigmund Freud's theory of wishes persisting until they are satisfied, Lewin demonstrated the existence of psychic tensions, a fundamental concept in his field theory. However, Lewin's contributions extended beyond applied research. He was also a proponent of action research, a term he himself coined. Lewin had a deep sensitivity to social problems and a commitment to using his resources as a social scientist to initiate social change. His interest in Jewish migration and identity led him to explore the concept of denial of one's identity as a coping mechanism under dominant group oppression. This crisis of identity and the triangulation of research, training, and action in producing social change became a cornerstone of Lewin's work. Lewin's influence as a mentor is also worth noting. He nurtured the talents of prominent psychologists such as Leon Festinger, who developed the cognitive dissonance theory, and Roger Barker, a notable environmental psychologist. His legacy includes Bluma Zygarnik, famous for her research on the Zygarnik effect, and Morton Deutsch, the founder of modern conflict resolution theory in practice. Kurt Lewin's philosophy and contributions have had a lasting impact on the field of psychology. His emphasis on applied research, action research, and his dedication to addressing social problems continue to inspire and guide researchers today. Through his work, Lewin's gen identity, hodological space, and his equation for behavior have become essential concepts for understanding the complex interplay between personal characteristics and the environment in shaping human behavior. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.